Hey, good morning, guys. This is Randy from B1 Photography. We're out here at Passion Park on the east side of Baltimore. Um, very, very beautiful park. Um, never been here, never flown here before. Been here a bunch of times with the dogs and some other events we've done here, shot normal photography. But here we're going to fly some drone work and we're going to try to show you the, uh, the new beta firmware on the Altel Evo 2 Pro with some of the panorama modes. So um, we're in Class G airspace right now, but I have followed my flight plan with AirMap uh, just to be safe and uh, so there'll be awareness of where I am today. Um, I guess with no further ado, let's get this bird up in the air and see what we can do uh, to uh, look at the panorama modes. Okay, cool. Uh, we got the bird ready to go. Here we are on the uh, Altel app on the smart controller. We're about to open up. Make sure we're good to go to fly. Safe to fly. We have normal compass, GPS mode. We're all good. Okay, perfect. Um, so just like normal, we're going to go ahead and get this bird up in the air. There is no tug off land button, so we're going to take off manually. Start the engines up. Alrighty, cool. We are up in the air now. We're getting this bird up. We're going to check out the firmware now. We're going to get the bird up and get some view here. Oh, here we go. Look at that nice view of the city. I was hoping that would happen. Here we go. We're up and at it. Alrighty. I think we're good to go here to shoot a nice panorama. So, um, as you know, the firmware does it add new panorama modes. So we're going to go to the manual flight. We're going to hit panoramic. And you're going to see now there's several panorama modes. Uh, we'll do the landscape one first. Um, we're going to hit that. We're already on that. Looks like we're good to go. I'm going to raise a few more feet in the air and bang, go. Here we go. Series of images being shot. can tell you the smart controller is very bright right now. I have it almost full max. I am in shade, so it's not crazy, but this is the first time I've tried it out in bright sunlight, and it is definitely awesome. The colors are great. Definitely better than a phone. All right, we're halfway done the shooting of this wide panorama. You can see Patterson Park is beautiful and it's right on the edge of the city. Uh, a lot of people come here to walk their dogs. It's really a great place. It's got a lot of fields. It's got an ice skating rink. It's really uh, kind of the highlight in the city. Not, not the scale of, uh, you know, a Central Park in New York, but it's the same kind of idea. A little park in the middle of the urban area of Baltimore. Okay, one more shot. And here comes the bad. What happens is now while stitching these photos, you lose live feed. The bird is controllable at this point. I can move and maneuver the bird, but I don't see what's going on. Ah, that's why in definitely in pano mode, you want to have VLOS because right now I do not see what's on the camera. Um, but I, again, I can't control the bird, so there's no problem there. Um, I haven't tried hitting pause. I'm not sure if that would stop it, but at this point, I don't want to stop the stitching. I know I'm good. I'm up in the air. But uh, yeah, right now, as you see, the live feed is dead. And we're done. Perfect. All right, cool. So portrait, uh, that's going to be a vertical. So I'm not sure how that will come out. We'll, we'll try it. We're right here. Why not just do it where we're at? No sense of flying anywhere else. Hit go. We're going to try a vertical pano. It's going to shoot six shots.
four of six, five of six, And here we go. The photo stitching process is started on this guy. Shouldn't take as long, less photos. Obviously, it's a function of how many photos are in it that takes how long to stitch. You see this gray goes green. Again, I have control of the drone right now, but of course, I can't see my live feed. Yep, done. Okay, awesome. Okay, wide angle. We'll go to the wide angle now. Uh, we're not going to move again. We're perfect. Why not just shoot here? Bang. There we go. It's going to take nine shots now. I mean, I know Baltimore has a bad reputation, but look, we've got a beautiful city here. It's got to know where to be. Nice day, the bird is stable. Now I've never done a spear mode, I've never tried that yet. I've done it with my old DJI Phantom 4 Pro. I've never done it here, I know that it's not gonna stitch it, but we'll go ahead and shoot one. I think it'll take a little while, a few minutes, but uh, we'll, we'll let that go um, and see how that works out. I know it won't stitch it. I will try to stitch it later in Lightroom. I'm hoping to maybe follow up this video at some point with a video on post processing of these um, in Lightroom and such. Uh, since I am a photographer, I'm not just a drone guy. I'll show you some boring photography work as well sometime. All right, stitching the, the uh, pano now. Once that's done, we'll try to spear mode. And the only other new thing in the firmware was going to be the return to home change of location, which I will show you, but we're not going to actually do that. I'm just going to bring the bird down manually, but I will show you how that works on the map. And you can put a pin down to drop the return to home to another location. Um, again, as soon as this finishes, we'll stitching. We'll go ahead and uh, maybe go a little, man, we're about 300 feet, so maybe we'll stay where we are and do a nice uh, sphere, see how that shoots at least. Um, we won't see the stitching of that at the end. I'll see if I can stitch that at home in software. And almost done. Perfect. Okay, cool. Um, so here we are. Uh, last one is spherical. Again, this is going to take 26 shots, I believe. Um, and it's not going to stitch it, but we'll go ahead and shoot it and see if I can muck it out later on in, in Lightroom. Go. Here we go. Yep, 26 shots. This should take a few minutes. So definitely, if you're doing this, be sure you have battery. Again, smart controller, bright. Beautiful colors. Love it. And if you were watching the podcast last night, uh, it sounds like uh, Randall Warnes is going to buy me a new smart tablet when I need to buy my V2. He said, anybody that has these now, put that to bed. You're going to get a new one from me as long as I'm here. So I'll be emailing him today to verify he, was, he meant what he said. So we'll see how that goes. I'll let you know. Eighteen to twenty-six. We're getting there. So it took about three minutes so far.
Alrighty, please note. Okay, so the Spirit Gold printer has been shot. Awesome. Um, okay, so like I said, the only other change in the new firmware that we'll look at right now, and again, we're not going to actually implement that. If you go back to the general settings in the Altel app, um, boom, let's get back here to our settings, and you're going to find the return to home now has a uh, option to change customized. Open the we'll jump to the map for, for analysis. Uh, so yeah, uh, obviously we're not seeing much of the map, so I'm not quite sure how effective it is right now, but at this point you could add a drop a pill on the map and return to home at that location that wasn't where you started or where your controller is. Okay, at that point, I think we're ready to get the bird down um, and end and, and this re-recording. Cool, thanks.